Hickson and happy Friday. Happy birthday to Daniel M, Grace O, and Riley L. All library books checked out before winter break were due on Wednesday, January 7th. If you return or renew them anytime this week, you won't have a fine. If your class isn't visiting, be sure to come on your own. Today's an A day here at Hickson, A4, Apples. Have a great weekend and enjoy this week at Hickson. Welcome to four new students who just started school at Hickson on Monday. So, welcome to Hickson, Isabel Bravo and Skylar Cadets. And welcome to Hickson, Jonathan Braun and Mackenzie Felder. <laughs> Have a great weekend! Hello, Hickson. I am Miss Smile Hacking here with Tech Talk, the show where we bring you all the latest tech. Today, we will be talking about Destiny. On Wednesday, Destiny players get a very nice gift from Bungie. They got a, ra a random legendary weapon for free. Keep in mind, you cannot use a legendary weapon or piece of gear until you are at least level 20 in the game. This has been Tech Talk, Texta La Vista. Hello, and welcome to Freaky Facts, the show that makes you groan, moan, and drop dead where you are. It could happen. It could happen. Fact number one, did you know that the train in the first Harry Potter movie was actually a real train in Scotland and not computer generated. Mm. Fact number two. Did you know Nike's slogan, Just Do It, was inspired by a murderer's last words on death row? Whoa. Fact number three. Did you know in 2009, Nigerian police arrested a goat on suspicion of armed robbery? Freaky. I'm Sam Ely. And I'm Edward Zuber. Have a freaky day. Hi, this is Gwen with weather predictions. It's going to be a lot less cold this weekend than it has in the past week. S lingering in the mid-30s. That will feel like a heat wave. This has been this week's weather predictions. Hi, and welcome to Game On. First, a recently released patch for Drive Club has added some amazing weather effects. Second, Nintendo has announced... Um, Limited edition bundle for Majora's Mask 3D releasing sometime this year. And last, Mad Cats just announced the Lynx hybrid transforming controller, and at $300, this controller promises uncompromised control by transforming on the fly. Also, Forza Horizon 2 released the new G-Shock car pack, and it's great. Well, that's all. That's it for today. This is Game On, powering off. Hello, everybody. My name is Justice, and welcome to a very first uh, daily juggle show, where we do two jokes each week. Uh, so let's get started. Joke number one. What did uh, Michael Jackson say to police? Beat it. <laughs> okay. Joke number two. What do you call a super pig who can jump, who can climb up the side of buildings? Spider ham. Alright, that was, that was it for this week. I'll see you all. Have a good day. Peace out. Hi, I'm Edward Super. Welcome to Double HS, bringing you up to date on sports. Remember, the script is made on Tuesday, so some of the information could be outdated. The playoffs have started, and there have already been some upsets, including Carolina beating Arizona. So sad. There will be plenty of great games, so be sure to check them out. The Blues had a, had a quite the shocking game against the Sharks over break, winning 7-2 to two with TJ Oshie being quite the impressive player. Mizzou beat Minnesota. The score was 33-17. We won. Florida State versus Oregon State. Game was good, but Florida State got crushed by Oregon's defense and offense. And Oregon beat Florida, and the score was 59-20. The Ohio State Buckeyes will be playing on January 12th against the Oregon Ducks. Until next week, this has been Double HS, and I am Edward. Welcome to Hickson Motors. I'm Alex Williams, your host. 
Last year we talked about a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a Mustang, a Nissan, a McLaren, a Jaguar, and a Camaro. They are all amazing cars. But we are in a new year, so we're going to start this year off with a British car, the Noble M600. This awesome car has a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 that produces 650 horsepower. All of that power combined with the lightness of this car makes the 0 to 60 time 3 seconds and the top speed 225 miles per hour. This car will cost you $238,000. If you see this awesome car, post your picture at hashtag HX Motors. That is all for this week. See you next time on Hickson Motors. Hey, I'm Coral. And I'm Haley. Welcome, welcome to Crazy Cam. We missed you and welcome back. It was fun, but it's it's wonderful to be back indeed, Haley. On the show anyways. <laughs> so this week we're gonna be talking about all the crazy things in 2014. Hey Haley, what's your favorite thing about 2014 and what's your least favorite thing about 2014? My favorite thing, to be perfectly honest, would be this show. This friggin' show. I know. Because it, it's just, it's awesome to be on it. I'm having a lot of fun here. And then my least favorite thing would be, in general, all the annoying people and things I've had to put up with all year. <laughs> Indeed. Mine is, yeah, probably this show. I just love being on here. It's such a fun adventure, and I hate that I'm not going to be able to do it like, next year. I know, right? This will be best friends though, okay? Yeah. And then my other best friend over there just sitting there staring at us. Okay. <laughs> and then my least Can favorite is probably this, the people in the halls that don't want to move. They just want to sit there and talk to your friends. I'm like, get out of the room! I'm trying to get to my classes. It just makes me so mad. It, that does get annoying after a while. Okay. So. Over, so, over the winter break, what are your top two favorite things you got for Christmas? Well, one is right over here. Let me get it. It's my Acer touchscreen Chromebook that I got from keeping my grades up, actually. And you then kept your grades up? I know, right? And then my second one is either my bracelets, my Pikachu bracelet, and you are exactly what's wrong with society, or my bands. You're exactly what's wrong with society. That's actually what the bracelet says. Yeah, yeah read it. You are exactly what's wrong with society. <laughs> Just saying. Anyways. So what's yours? Well, let's see. Mine would have to be the awesome new tablet I got. And then this extremely awesome, probably extremely hard to find model. It's like this big of the very first Batmobile. Okay, not the second. Not the one we have now. The first. The very Dude, first. That's Awesome. This big and I'm da, just da, like da, yes. Batman. <laughs> well now it's time for overexpose. This week's is 2014. <laughs> well that's all for this week. See you next week and fair winds, Hickson! Hi guys, welcome to Therapeutic Time with Colin. And Gwen. Simon couldn't make it today. Credit for this episode goes to Alex Williams. Today I will be talking about growing a mustache. Now let's face it, we all want a fabulous mustache, but not everyone can grow one. Until now with my new tutorial on how to grow a mustache. So if you want a mustache, then listen up. Step one, grab a book. Step two, read the book. Step three, chant to the heavens above, Grant me a beautiful mustache! Grant me a beautiful mustache! Step four, admire your mustache. Welcome to the top 10 news stories of 2014 with Barrett and Joe. We have stories that are in no particular order, just the major things of 2014. North Korea recently hacked Sony right before the release of the new movie, The Interview, which made fun of their leader, Kim Jong-un. North Korea has very poor living conditions because of all their money is spent on their military, which includes a 6,000-man cyber army and nuclear capabilities. Now we move on to police brutality reports. On August 9th, Michael Brown, an unarmed black teen, was shot on the street by police officer Darren Wilson. His death, along with the death of Eric Garner in New York, sparked national protests against police brutality. Although Garner's death was caught on a video that showed an officer placing him in an illegal chokehold, 
Neither officer was indicted for the killings. We all know about the terribly devastating outbreak of the Ebola, Ebola virus in a small portion of West Africa. As of this week, over 20,000 cases have been confirmed worldwide. 8,000 claimed lives. But don't worry, although this is a serious issue, U.S. residents are at zero risk of contracting the virus. Now we move on to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. This chilly challenge was made popular to make awareness for ALS and donate to the people that have motor neuron disease. It includes dumping a bucket of ice water on yourself and challenging another friend. Afterwards, donating to, uh, to, donating to ALS. Sadly, two deaths and multiple injuries have been associated with it. Lately, it has lost some popularity. This year, we have lost many faces of the acting community. Here are four of them. Philip Seymour Hoffman, Robin Williams, Joan Rivers, and child movie star Shirley Temple. Now I have a story on the Malaysia Airlines 370. On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared while flying to Beijing, China. Lost with the plane were 239 passengers and the crew. The expensive search for MH370 is now ended. The pilot of the plane killed himself along with the innocent passengers and crew. By Ely pressing, by Lee pressuring the aircraft, giving the people on the plane less than 60 seconds of consciousness. Once the plane was lost, it became almost impossible to find. Over 95% of the ocean is still unexplored, but the search for MH370 is now over. Taylor Swift made headlines this year because of her constant feud with Spotify and other streaming companies. After the re release of her recent album, 1989, she made millions off of the album because her fans bought the album instead of streaming music. As my friend always says, life's too short to pretend like you don't like Taylor Swift. Now we move on to the umbrella protests in Hong Kong. This year in Hong Kong, citizens started protesting due to the government's unwillingness to become a separate country from China. Thousands upon thousands of citizens filled up the streets because they wanted so bad to become a separate country. On February 26, 2014, pro-Russian forces took control of the Crimean Peninsula. Russia claimed that those people were local defense forces. They turned out to be Russian military personnel with no markings. On February 27th, troops without insignia seized the building of the Supreme Council of Crimea. On March 21st, Crimea was officially annexed by Russia. Thanks. Have a good day, Hickson. Hi, I'm Bridget, and this is Miss Hunter. So, what was the highlight of your winter break? Watching my wonderful son open all of his presents. What was his favorite pet line? An Xbox One with about five games to go with. Well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I will see you around. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Bridget, and this is Mrs. Hannell. So, what was the highlight of your winter break? I took a nine-hour road trip to Ohio to spend the um, Christmas break with my family. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Never been to Ohio. Well, thank you. Thank you. And bye.